All right, I don't know if the camera was record. I don't know what I recorded last. So, I'm gonna say this, because I don't know <laughs> too much marijuana there is. Too much marijuana, that's the problem. I'm not sure what I told y'all last. It's maybe two of us. Okay, I don't know what I said outside or not. Um, I don't even know if I had to, if the camera was recording. I've been pressing the on and off button so much, I can't remember. But the original reservation was across the street at a place called um, Casa Mono, but it looked a little too, I wouldn't, I don't want that. That way, like, it looked, it's a little too, I don't want that. So I ended up at a place called Pierre Loti, which is like a wine bar with lovely tapas. So. We'll try that and see what we what we come up with. All right. I just don't. I, I don't know if, if I what I if I hit the button or not outside. Oh no, Charles. Rough. I was trying to get like footage of like New York and stuff. It's cute. Okay, so they have a lunch special, prefix course for twenty two dollars and ninety five cents. Soup of the day, uh, appetizers and an entree, lamb, chicken grilled salmon shish kebab chicken salad salmon salad now on the regular menu they've got quite a few things oh, it doesn't look half bad actually soups and salad there's a red lentil soup a shepherd salad a roasted beef salad a kale salad a caesar salad on uh hot appetizers they've got okra stew there's a baked camembert cheese a zucchini pancake there's a filo feta cheese rolls, falafel, bruschetta, and Brussels sprouts. From the land, there are manti, which are beef dumplings with a yogurt sauce. Grilled Turkish beef sausage. Lamb shish kebab, beef pastrami filo rolls. Hunker's Delight. Braised beef cubes. Served over creamy, smoky eggplant mozzarella puree. Mmm. Chicken shish. Tandir, which is an eight-hour oven-baked lamb loin. There's also a Mediterranean burger and a skirt steak. Then we got pizzas, margarita, truffle mushroom, and beef pepperoni. And then they have cold appetizers. So hummus, baba ganoush, feta cotto, which is baby spinach, feta, mozzarella, cheese, basil, garlic with avocado. Okay. Tzatziki, they have mumara, which is a roasted Turkish red pepper, red bell pepper chopped with walnut breadcrumbs, feta, parsley, roasted garlic, pepper, pasta, with stuff, child. Uh, pink sultan, which is served with beet carpaccio. There's an eggplant caviar, stuffed grape leaves, Baby artichoke hearts. Okay, so like Mediterranean vibes, all right? Oh, cocktails, hello. Signature, a galata, which is a vodka-based drink. There is a galley poli, which is tequila with triple sec. There's a Joy Boy, there's a French connection. Uh, fig and good, fig infused gin, okay. And then there's a Gia's, a, I guess Gaia's Orchard, which is gin red fruit juice and it's clarified with milk we good on that y'all all right so maybe we'll do uh a galley poli which is tequila passion fruit liqueur lime juice triple sec agave served on the rocks how bad could that be and then we can get some apps going there's a few things we like right let's see um let's also try The hummus mm -hmm. and the the feta cotto and the tzatziki to start. Sure. Okay. Yep, let's do that to start. Thank you. You know, I be forgetting to press the button, child. I'm sorry. I ain't even, I can't blame it on the end of the day. It's just me. I don't know. I can't get myself together. I be forgetting to press the button to record. I'm sorry. So anyway, he came to the table. I did order the um, gali poli. 
He said it funny though, Gallipoli, something like that. I'm sure my accent is off, but whatever. Then I ordered the uh, shepherd salad, which is tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, red onions, tossed with olive oil and vinaigrette. I ordered the hummus, feta cotto, the tzatziki, and the phyllo feta cheese rolls. They've got octopus on here. I should get that. I should get the calamari and the octopus. When he comes back, we'll order that, all right? All right, with a little Turkish, a little Mediterranean thing going on today. Very light too, you know what I'm saying? Not all that sauce, all that stuff that wear you down. Girl, it's 100 degrees outside. You need something that go in easy and come out easy. You know what I'm saying? And I think this is the place to be. Very light, very filling, very minimal points with um, Weight Watchers, all right? Now, let's check out this drink and these appetizers. Get into this in one second. Hold on. I'm gonna finish it. Give me a second. My drink done showed up. What kind of this was? Golly poly. You see? <laughs> this is what I do in my spare time. Girl, go to nice restaurants, order cocktails, and look at everybody tussled online. She's great. She's great. Tequila, passion fruit, liqueur, lime juice, triple sec. You know what a benefit? fresh passion fruit juice. Fresh passion fruit juice would have been lovely. Delicious, five out of five. Let's go back to the gossip, child.
you don't go to events and the first thing you do when you get there is eat. That's my event. Your event didn't even start on time. But you want to uh, talk about somebody else's event. I didn't do that to her. For her to have a drunken stupor on that. You knew you was with you before I even got off that airplane. Before I even got on that airplane. Hold on, y'all. It's some food that showed up. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Hold on. You're working it by yourself, huh? I just had another person come in. How long you been working here? Uh, about a year. Yeah, cool. That's the caracara, the shepherd salad and physique. Lovely. And you have the hummus right here. Beautiful. Thank you. Enjoy. I will, thanks. Okay, listen, we're going to get back into it in one second. Girl, this is good. Ain't this good? Girl, this is delicious mess. Girl, they always going through something. Let's see, the bread look cute. Let me see. Mm -hmm. She real good bread. Airy. Airy bread, sir. Let's try the ava fettuccato. Feta Cotto. I hope they made this last night too. So we had a chance to sit up. You know, they got to sit up and really soak up all the juices and stuff. She good, y'all. She good. Mmm. If you love salty, cheesy. Oh, lovely. Sorry, three. Okay, three to four. Thank you. Yeah, that's delicious. That's a five out of five. Like, that's lovely. I want that with crackers and whatnot. And look at this beautiful, um, I don't know what the name of it is. It's called a, I'm gonna tell you what it's called, hold on. I mean, that's why I got the menu, get the name right. Shepherd salad. She looks great. Tomato and stuff. It's a fly flying around. Get out of here, you about to die. Let me see with the tomato and whatnot. Let me see what's going on with this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Mmm, the parsley is great in here, fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Moon fly. All right. No, it's great. Crunch is beautiful. These little Persian cucumbers is gorgeous in here. Mmm-hmm. Hold on. I came to the right place. This is delicious, y'all. I mean, it could use a little acid, if I could be honest with you. A little acid. It's a hit of vinegar. You know, lime juice, something like that. But other than that, five out of five. No issues there. Now, I make the best tzatziki you ever had in your life. Let me see what they got going on with theirs. Let me see what they got going on with this tzatziki. Let me see. Cute. 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 I'm gonna hit it with a touch more lemon juice. That fresh lemon, a touch more. It's just a, it just need a bunch, just a little punch of acid for me. And I'll be happy with that. Other than that, it's fine. Let me try the hummus. I don't know what's got into me. I hate hummus. I've been ordering it lately. I don't know what's going on with y'all. I am changing. Hummus. Average. I've had better. It's average. Beautiful. Thank you. Hit the acid. A little salt. We'd be fine. I wish I put a little salt on there, it'd be perfect. 
qualify on the hunters. All right. These are filo rolls that showed up. I forgot what they called. <laughs> filo rolls. <laughs> filo, let me show you. Filo cheese rolls. Look at that. All right, those are the filo cheese rolls. There's, it says, um, what is it say? Golden crisp filo rolls stuffed with feta cheese dill and Turkish herbs. Let me see, child. She's a um, Turkish mozzarella stick. Smells good. Oh. I'm sure the feta budget is over the top. It's straight feta. And beautiful. Touch salty. Because the feta, if you don't like feta cheese, you are not going to like this. But if you are a feta cheese lover, like true, authentic, lovely, beautiful Mediterranean feta, you will love this. And honey, I am in heaven. Because, you know, I like pickles and um, things that are acidic and olives and all that. Let me keep the mushroom. Keep the mushroom, but give me the olive. This is good. And guess what? Vegetarian. Look at that. We ain't put a piece of meat in our mouth yet, have we? Mmm. And delicious. Yep. It's our kind of place. I love finding the hidden treasures. We found one. She's good. She's good. Let's um, place an order for lunch. Let's see what that's hitting on. I had to even went to Atlanta to, 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 to go to your meet, meet and greet because you were downright dirty. Dirty when you when it came to me. I would have never did you like that. Just because I told you, I said to you that, 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 that you, because you, you brought all those people in there. But you ain't, you ain't talking about that. You brought all those people in there to come, come to my meet and greet for free. Okay, so this is the back and forth between girl, I don't even want to talk about it, between Marion and Tracy. Girl, just a mess right now. Somebody mad about something, somebody more mad about something now. Meanwhile, I'm having Persian cucumbers and grilled tomatoes with feta cheese. Don't give me the line, okay? Why wow, this person mad with this person? Girl, just drama. This is what happened when y'all be sending me stuff. Just drama. All right. Let's place an order for lunch. Let's find something. What we like? They got these beef dumplings. We gotta try those. And then we're gonna try. The chicken shish kebab. We can try that. We try the skirt steak, the octopus, and the calamari. They also have a shrimp casserole too that doesn't look bad. Saute shrimp with seasonal vegetables, mozzarella cheese, and a light tomato sauce. That don't sound half bad either. You know, Mediterranean food is cute. She very light. She very eat this and go watch the sunset. Let's place our order, y'all. I'll tell you. All right, I am going to order uh, a few things. You have something to write this down with? Yeah. All right, cool. I want to try, are the ma the beef dumplings, they're really good? Beef dumplings, yeah. Are they good? Mm -hmm. I'll get the small order of those. Okay. Um, I'll try the chicken shish, the small order. They're all happy hour, if you want. Are they, yeah, let's do happy hour, yeah. So, chicken shish, 
Mancy chicken shish. And then I also would love to try the calamari and the octopus. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We done placed it, huh? I bet you didn't know I like octopus, did you? Yeah, child, she good. If you like calamari, you like octopus. I don't want to hear about. You them nasty ass mushroom. You gonna handle this? Let me see. Is that is that a happy hour cocktail? Um, a margarita. Nothing amazing. They have happy hour every day from three to six. Okay. All right. Brandon said he was parking. I said, take your time. I done had one cocktail and they ate the appetizers. All right. I'm only gonna do one cocktail because this one cocktail already got me feeling like Stephanie Mill. I feel good. Okay. Yeah, I just placed an order for the entree. Okay. All right. I feel good all over. Sweet things you say to me. I'm gonna stay here a little longer. All right, I'll be back when the food comes. I'm gonna be messy on Facebook. I said, I been, I just ordered, um, huh, this is the, I don't know what you eat and what you don't. This is delicious. This is the feta cotto. So it's feta with avocado. Okay. This is the shepherd's salad, which mm. is beautiful, fresh. This is tzatziki. Do you like hummus? I do. There's hummus. And then these are the, um, filo, the filo cheese rolls with okay. the Turkish spices. Please help yourself. Okay. That was last, okay, I'm being messy on Facebook. I've been getting caught up. Marion says she's upset because being charged six hundred dollars for the six hundred dollars. Sorry, my, you know my speech impediment. I be talking too fast. Mm. Being charged six hundred dollars for the Airbnb that was last year. Here's what I don't understand. If you've been feeling slighted because of what happened last year comma why go to Tracy's event this year like there was no issue cuz ain't no way I'm finna be pissed at you from last year comma but celebrate you this year. They all smiles in your face while planning. No, I'm gonna do this. I got one for you. I got a caption. They always kiss you on the cheek while planning how they're going to spend their 30 pieces of silver. If you know, you know. Just messy. Okay, y'all, Brandon here. I'm gonna talk to him for a little bit and I'll come back with the food when the food get here, okay? <laughs> and yes, I'm filling my cocktail. Deal with it. Goodbye. And then the third one back up because I'm trying to back up state. Mm -hmm. You got a new car? Yeah, no, I still got my price, but my parents do, because see, my car was in the shop. I was using that car when it got told. <laughs> so. You got your car fixed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Calamari with the homemade tartar sauce. Let me show you. Alright, there's the there's the calamari with the homemade tartar sauce. Alright, let me see about the calamari. I'm gonna see by itself. Girl, why am I on the off center like this? What you doing? Mm. Oh, she bringing the food out way too fast for me. I didn't even get a chance to eat the first one. You can check that bread and throw it away. All right, this is the grilled octopus. It comes with tomatoes, red onions, and olive oil in a light tomato sauce. 
mains now. You want me to wait a little bit? Oh, uh, give me a, give us a second. Let's get through some of this, please. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's try the calamari now. See if I like it. Oh, uh hot. -huh. It's good. Not the best. I've ever had, but good. Seasoned well. Try with the tartar sauce. Mm. Tartar good. It's like a Mediterranean tartar. She's not Captain D's. She's good. Not Captain D's. Okay, let's try the, the um, octopus. You like octopus, Brandon? I do. Okay, good. I do. Okay, good. I, I got octopus. You parked on the street again? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how the octopus is tasting. Oh, she cuts very tender. And she's delicious. Calamari is like a four out of five. Octopus, I've had better. Four out of five. It's good. Tender. Not fishy at all. Season well. Dude, that sauce is amazing. Dude, that sauce is amazing. Let's see what Brandon thinks. Let's see what he says. Okay. It's good. Mm-hmm. One out of five. One being horrible, five being amazing. I like to say five. Five for me. It's not bad. Try the hummus. Let me see what you think about the hummus. Mm -hmm. praise. Hummus praise. Hummus praise. Oh, hummus praise. <laughs> I hear the music in the air. It is both shout out. It is both shout out. So when I go down, I know what I'm talking about. The is good. I like lemon. Scale of one to five. I'm four. I'm four. Four. Not Do bad. you like feta cheese? I'm or sorry. you don't know if you like feta? What did you eat this with? The bread. Let's see. It's feta with um avocado and spices. Oh bread. boy, it's like communion. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. That's good. Okay. Like now get with the salad. This is the. Uh, That's the food. So far, so good. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Are you the owner? No. Oh. No. Just say hello. <laughs> this is bread. This is bread. Hallelujah. It's okay. Just okay for you? Yeah. Scale of one to five. I said three. A three. Mm -hmm. If it had like a little more vinegar acid. Yeah, it's, it's still a little bit dry. Yeah, so that's what I said. Same thing, all right, there you have it. So now you see, there's a calamari. Oh, those are the cheese rolls. Try the cheese rolls. Wait, did you go to the main yet? Yes. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I like these, I like this. Scale of one to five. I'm going to three. He liked it, but he gave it a three. Yep. <laughs> the filo rolls. <laughs> he liked it, but he gave it a three. I ordered the um the beef dumplings. Actually, I ordered this. Ain't this not enough? This is enough goddamn food, is it not? Look at this table. Cause she's come on in. But the table is spread. And the feast of the Lord is going oh, wow. on. <laughs> hey. He's here mm. right now. Right now. What you need <laughs> is waiting at the table. First, you got coming through the door. Yeah, it's a lot of food on this table. We don't need to order shit else. But I did order the beef dumplings and um, 
and the chicken shish kebab. Yes, I'm on the same thing. Okay, see that's plenty, we got plenty going on. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Brandon when the food get back, when the food get here, I'll call y'all back, okay? Bye. Comes from Mama Tracy. Tracy Mitchell? Yeah. Comfort cooking, yeah, that's yeah. her. Yeah, that was her, that was her. Okay, in front of me are the um, chicken shish kebabs and the dumplings, and I'm full. I ain't gonna lie to you. In fact, I just came from the bathroom. I-Y-K, Y-K, okay. On the chicken shish, let me see how good this is. Oh, she good. It's delicious. Moist, seasoned. Uh, grilled beautifully. You will love this, and it's, it's grilled. Protein, so. This and a little wrap with some of that little tzatziki would be amazing. And the bulgur pilaf, it's beautiful. It has mint in it, so you get the faint taste of Colgate, but <laughs> it's still good. I like it. There's lots of good flavors, and it's seasoned well. Now, this is mantu. This is this beef dumpling. I ain't never had this before in my life. It's mixed with, like, yogurt. Apparently, she's very popular in Turkey. Let's see. I understand why. The beef is lightly seasoned, but it's there. The yogurt is what makes it. It gives it a beautiful creaminess. And the slightest tartness is gorgeous. You know what yogurt is like, that doughy, tart, kind of like, sharp flavor in yogurt, like plain Greek yogurt. This is here, but it's balanced with the flavor of the beef. There's like some spices on top and some olive oil. It's really good, listen. So for me, it's like a five out of five. I mean, if it's good, it's good. Chicken's good, yeah, go ahead. Chicken's seasoned well. Dumplings are seasoned well. Let's see if Brandon gonna like it. Probably not, child, but let's see. <laughs> Praise for the chicken. Praise for the chicken. Try a little piece of praise that. You said five out of five? I did. I really enjoy those. Uh-huh. Some of the consistency and everything. Uh-huh. Let's see if he likes it. You do like it. Okay, because yesterday uh, it was something we had you didn't like yesterday. <laughs> but this one you like. Yeah, good. Okay, scale of one to five. Five being amazing. I'm going to say amazing. Five. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Try the bulgur first. See if you like that. It's got like um, mint and stuff going on. Okay. Okay. Second well, bite. Second bite. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just a five praise. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Now on the chicken. Let me see if you're gonna say what I'm, what I'm, what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? What's going through your head? It's good. I but, feel, I feel but, the four. Yep. Here's what I said. Um, Try the chicken with a piece of the tzatziki. Okay. That's what I was in my head. I was like, it needs a sauce. Yeah, because by itself. Run it through the tzatziki, through this white sauce, yeah, and tell me what you think. Testing one, yeah. Because that's what I was saying. I was saying to myself, it needs. That's that. It needs a little sauce. That's better. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. It needs, a, it, it's good. That's better. Yeah. It's good, but I'm like, with that creamy sauce, mm -hmm. it's gonna be like out, out of this world, like outstanding. It's way better with the sauce. Yeah, way better with the sauce. And then you, by the time you get the onions and the little mm -hmm. bread and stuff, you put your little pizza wrap by together. Itself. Yeah. And then it. No, <laughs> by itself, it's okay by itself. Right. To me, it's like a three out of five by itself. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, when you cool. add it with the sauce, mm -hmm. And the accoutrement, then you go, okay, we're, we're headed someplace. Mm -hmm. Not a bad time, huh? Great. Not a bad time at all. Pierre Loti. I'm sure I'm saying the name of the place wrong. We're going to ask the man how to say it with his accent, because my West Side Chicago accent. It was better than what I said yesterday. <laughs> it was much better. <laughs> and thank you for telling whoever that was on Facebook exactly where we were. 
<laughs> have we left before you wrote that? Yeah. Oh, we have. We were already gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. I seen you. Right. I said, Lord. You know I know better. Yeah, I was like, Lord, did he do this no, while no, we were no, sitting no. there? No, I seen it. I seen it. All right, we will get a check. I would have out home. We would have got a check, or we'll get a check, see what it costs, and then I'll go outside and give you my final thoughts. How do you pronounce the name of this restaurant? Pierre Loti. Pierre Loti. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't hear an accent this time. Uh, accent? Yeah. When I heard you earlier, you sounded like you had an accent when you spoke. Oh. Uh, and now I don't hear one. Sometimes it comes in. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Turkey. Okay, so this is like up your alley. Yeah. Are you, did you live here and wanted to work here or did you know the owners or? Well, the chef is my father. Ah, so you're the son of the chef. Yes. So um, I've been helping out in the past year. So. Okay, so that's why you've been here for a year. Did you want to work in the restaurant? I've been in the restaurant business for quite some time now. Nice. About 15 years or so. How long has this place been here? The wine bar has been here for about, uh, I would say, 15, 16 years. We expanded to the restaurant side last year. Wow, how's it going? It's good, it's good. This summer is actually much better than the previous one. Good, good, yeah. good. Well, so far so good. Everything's great. Thank you. Everything's delicious. Thank it's hands, and this is all like Turkish. Turkish, Mediterranean. It's beautiful, beautiful food. Yeah, he has about like 40 years of experience. It, and you can tell, yeah. like everything we're having. First time having these dumplings, they were amazing. I don't, I, I don't think they put avocado and feta in Turkey, do they? Uh, not necessarily okay. something that they came up with. Yeah. yeah, okay, beautiful. But it's good. Everything so far is great. Octopus was amazing, so, so far, so good. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have a change of revenue? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love asking, you know, questions to get the story. So that's it. Exactly. Son of the father. The father's in the kitchen. Son's working in the restaurant. Makes that's, sense. That's dope. Family, family affair. It's also very New York. You know, it's very American, but mm -hmm. quintessential New York, right? You start someplace, you have a dream, you decide, I wanna go to America and make that dream come true. You come to America, you do what you gotta do, and you end up with this on a plate. So that's why I'm like, you know, tasting these flavors for me, I kind of felt that there was like more to the story. And this also was like, it's, it's a reminder of like, just letting the, the world push you where you need to go, right? You know, I wasn't supposed to go here. I was supposed to go to a, point, a place across the street, but I was like, I don't know. This doesn't really feel right, you know, when I saw the menu, but coming here felt good. Nobody's here, you know, the place is completely empty, but I walked in and I was like, okay, menu seems cool. I like Mediterranean food. Yeah. And now we get this full circle moment where you're not just eating food, but you are having an experience, right? We're, we're literally sitting in Istanbul right now in his father's house, enjoying what he would normally cook probably for uh, a Sunday meal. And we're having it right here on a Friday afternoon. Yep. This is literally why I do this work, right? This is, there's so many stories that happen behind the food. And it's just, you can't capture them all. And you know, people don't know you. They're not really willing and open to talk. But when I can grab a glimpse, I grab it. So. It's great to have the food, but it's even more amazing to go beyond the story of the food um, and really sort of hear the foundation, the principle, the baseline on where this comes from. So super excited for it. And uh, I'll go outside. Once I get the check, I'll tell you what the food costs and I'll give you my final thoughts outside. The bill came, but I paid it and then wasn't even, thank you. I paid it, but wasn't even, look, me about uh, had the camera going. I'm gonna be telling Brandon about houses in Bali. <laughs> uh, one ninety fifty one. Um, so the fettuccine was sixteen, the salad was sixteen, the filo rolls were fifteen, the cocktail was eighteen, the calamari was nineteen, the octopus was twenty eight. Uh, two happy hour main courses, those were fourteen a piece. Two ginger ale, those was five dollars a piece, and two happy hour cold appetizers were twelve dollars a piece. So total comes out to. 190 um, 51 and then when we calculate the gratuity we'll add that okay so I'm doing 40 on the gratuity two thirty fifty one all right Done, done, done. Now I can go outside, give you my final thoughts. How's the baklava? 
Okay. It's okay. I'm not a baklava fan. You can enjoy that. Have fun. I don't want my baklava. Okay. All them walnuts and stuff. First, I'm gonna go get me a um. Come on, we're gonna go get us a um Italian ice. It's a place up the street, around the corner or somewhere. See how good it tastes. This is hot outside, so a little something fresh to wash this down. I'm not full. I didn't overstuff myself. Everything was light, and I done went to the bathroom twice, so I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Praise God. My storage is empty. <laughs> huh? Use me, Lord, to show someone the way, huh? And enable me to say, ah, ah. Praise God, huh? All right, y'all, let's go outside. Let me give you my final thoughts. They got a nice little crowd for me. They're getting ready for dinner service tonight. Oh, people sitting outside and stuff. All right, y'all, well, listen, I ain't even gonna hold you. I was nervous at first because I was like, and see, look, Cafe Mono is right there. It's literally right there across the street, right? And I was nervous because I was like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna like this place or not, but I actually enjoyed it, all right? This is a lovely Pierre Loti is a fantastic Mediterranean kitchen and bar. Um, everything we had was either four or five. Well, for me, four or five. Brandon had a couple threes. But you would come here. Would you come here again? I would. We would definitely come back again, right? So it's on our list. It's a place you can get dressed up to and come and celebrate. She's very, very cute, all right? Um, and the story behind it is also amazing, which is quintessential for New York, right? Down here, 55 Irving Place. I'm in... Uh, where am I? Union Square is where I'm at, right? Union Square, almost the village, but Union Square area. So listen, the restaurant for me gets a five out of five. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's what a restaurant should be. Flavors were beautiful, stories beautiful, food's amazing. So if you're ever in the New York area, come on out here and check out Pierre Lotti. It's our kind of spot, y'all. You're gonna enjoy it.